El Shaddai means the many-breasted one. The God of more than enough. Number two, does El Shaddai mean that God is the God of lack? God is the God of just enough? Or does it mean the many-breasted one? The God that has too much provision for his children. And then, not only is it his name, it's what he did. Genesis 12. Now the Lord had said, verse 1, Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless those that bless you, and I will curse those that curse you. And through you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken. Now look just a few verses down. Genesis 13, 2. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Number two. Does El Shaddai mean the God of poverty or the God who supplies your basic needs? No. It's the many-breasted one, the God of more than enough, the God that makes you extremely fruitful and rich. And, you know, no one has, has said anything contrary on the comments. But when someone does, it's going to start like this. I believe or I feel. It's not important what you believe or what you feel. It's important what the Bible says. Well, I just have seen so many people abuse the prosperity message. Who cares? Did you ever think that maybe the devil magnifies the people that abuse the prosperity message so people back off of it entirely? It's not important to me what other people do. It's important to me what the Bible says. Number three, 35 questions for those who hate the prosperity message. And I believe in prosperity. This cup was $19, and I paid for it cash. No loans. No offerings taken. I believe in prosperity. 